Meditation is a way of stilling the mind so that you can apprehend the nature of your experience more profoundly, more at the base of your beingness. Meditation allows you basically to listen to what the Creator has to say, not always in words, sometimes in images, sometimes in feelings, sometimes intuitions. The reason most people meditate is to discover more about their own being, more about the nature of reality at the level of being, so that we can become participants on a very basic level in our own spiritual journey, in a way that has a kind of sense that the mind doesn't always understand. all kinds of ways to meditate. The very simplest, I believe, would be to simply sit in a chair that's comfortable, put your feet flat on the floor, put your hands on your lap, close your eyes, take some deep breaths, begin to focus inwardly on your third eye. Simply watch that place. Watch any thought that comes your way, watch it go away, and simply sit and enjoy the silence with the basic feeling or motivation of making contact with the one infinite creator. During the raw contact, meditation was much more serious and I was attempting to still my mind and do exactly what I said to get to that point of one-pointed focus on the desire to know the Creator. During my time with Carla the last few years, I used it to plan my day. Unfortunately, that wasn't the greatest way to do it. What I do now is pay attention to my breathing. I attempt to use an inhale that is as deep as I can get it and to hold it at the inhale position for a count of perhaps five or six. And then to exhale gently and naturally until I come to a complete exhalation. Again, holding that for a count of five or six. All the time I'm doing this, I'm focusing upon the brow area here, the third eye, the indigo ray energy center. That focus seems to be a way of turning on the switch for the third eye so that it becomes activated. Then I continue this process of focusing on the third eye, inhaling, holding, exhaling, holding, so that there becomes a kind of intensification of the energy centers of the indigo ray and the violet ray, so that they are activated and there is a kind of buzzing, shall I say, of the brain. The reason that I'm looking for this activation is that I believe through meditation, we can become more aware of the qualities of the indigo and violet ray to inform us in a way that may be more than visual, more than sensual, and might approach that, what you would call coming into union with the one infinite creator. This is a method that has developed slowly over the last four years and People can use any method they wish and play with it as I have with mine till it meets your particular needs as you compare it to what other people are doing. Because as I said, there are as many ways to meditate as there are people to meditate. When you meditate, sometimes it's hard to imagine that you're really getting anywhere, especially when you first start. But I would encourage you to continue the meditation because the more you meditate, the more value you will find from it. There's kind of a muscle memory that your mind, your body, and your spirit gain as you're meditating. And it will eventually become easier. You begin to feel the results. If you meditate once or twice in a day, you may notice the second meditation is better than the first. You may notice that a couple of months later, your meditations are even more basic, profound, and clear. So I recommend that you keep doing the practice 
because just like with anything you're learning, whether it's a musical instrument or a new game or a new process for using your computer, you will get better with it as time goes on and you will be very glad that you've done it once you see the results come rolling in and you feel the presence of the one creator within your very being.